our completely, I don't know, I think it is the term F-witted mainstream media, we're still looking for a climate change fear story. So suddenly they realised it was summer and it might get warm and that people were going to get hot. And that was it. This was all they needed to trigger a climate change crisis. And hot weather warnings, 27 degrees. Oh, my God. Uh, I have been laughing about this for a couple of weeks now because, in the, as I said, in the absence of a cyclone they could blame on me driving a diesel car, um, the mainstream media just had to have, find something to have kittens about. And it was the fact that in summer it gets warm, it gets hot. And I have really enjoyed watching uh, one of our regular guests on the program point out some of this uh, from Investigate magazine, Ian Wishart. And Ian joins us now. Ian, Happy New Year to you. How are you, my friend? Happy New Year, Sean. You realise you've just jinxed us all. (laughs) Yeah, probably. (laughs) Uh, But this has been classic, Ian. Summer, it's hot, it's climate change. (laughs) Yeah, it's 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 crazy. It's it's the it's the search of a fair story, really. I mean, you go back to our childhood, Sean, in the 1973 with a very hot summer, 40 in, into the 40 degree range. Uh, yeah. 1949 it was again mid 40 degrees. 44 degrees was the highest temperature you've ever seen, uh, contrary to what Neva says. So we have had very hot summers in the past. And in my going, but my research into into climate change over the last year for the show and, and for the book that I'm doing. Um, I've been going back to old newspaper reports and even in, in the West Coast of, of New Zealand, people, it was so hot in some summers that people were flopping at the mouth and collapsing. Now, I haven't, I haven't seen anyone doing that in New Zealand for a long time. Uh, but uh, heat, heat stroke used to be a, a big thing. So I think that our current generation have uh, worked themselves into an absolute frenzy over climate change. And they're, they're well, snowflakes are particularly, <laughs> snowflakes are particularly sensitive to heat, aren't they, Ian? Yeah, they're melting now, aren't they? Um, has there been deliberate, to your mind, or willful misreporting of our climate records in regards to this? Uh, I would say that our climate records, as I said last year, are a disaster. The um, And NIWA have been put on notice for a year that uh, their research and their, their lack of detail on historical events is, is woeful, but they still haven't fixed it. I'm still working through their, their climate change report now. It's just been released. But... Um, so there's an aspect of uh, missing data from from, from Niwa. There's also the, the lack of memory. You know, we haven't had summers as hot as 1973 and 1949 for a long time. And you know, even at the top top. But this group, isn't uh, even top. hot, Ian. This summer, I think it's, it's been a crap uh, summer. I go back into the early 80s when I was working at Radio Hauraki in Auckland, and uh, you know, in the weekends we had to virtually walk around the office in our in our underwear because it was so hot. It was just crazy. Um, so there have been hot summers in the past, but I think, uh, you know, mid-30s is, is not particularly hot in New Zealand. It is, uh, it's, it's warm, but it's, it's mainly the humidity that's got us. But if you, if you want to look at what's causing it, there's, uh, you know, I, I'm not seeing a major discernible trend to, towards warmth, although there is clearly warmth in the last few years caused by marine heat waves. And people need to understand that, um, you know, this is where the media and NIWA are, are mischievous. Because the seas uh, warm up a lot slower than the year does. So if you look at the IPCC reports and they say, well, the air's warmed up by a degree over the past 100 years, for the sea to do that, at the best case scenario, it's going to do it four times more slowly. So the most it can warm up is a quarter of a degree. So the warmth in the seas at the moment is not coming from carbon dioxide. It's coming from solar heat. And that's the sun beating on the surface of the ocean and the ocean storing the heat and circulating it around and then it, it, it burbles it back out again with La Ninas and El Ninos and, and, and other ocean circulations and creates these massive heat bubbles that around New Zealand as an island nation we are vulnerable to. So when the oceans get warm, our air temperature gets warm. And the oceans are getting warm not because we're driving SUVs and burning fossil fuels, they're getting warm because of the sun. And there's emerging research overseas on the climate change issue that's showing that they're starting to scratch their heads about this because they're saying... How come the oceans are so warm? It doesn't doesn't calculate that CO two can't quite be doing all this on its own. The conclusion they're starting to come to, which is sort of emerging science, is that over the last 150 years we've moved away from burning coal as a you know, steam trains and transport and factories and all the rest of it. So the air has cleaned up, the atmosphere has cleaned up. This black soot in the air, 
and black soot actually hides the sun. So with a cleaner atmosphere over the last 100 years, you've had more solar radiation actually getting through to the surface. It's not that the sun's been getting any warmer, it's just that there's more light been getting through to warm up the ocean. It's a bit of an inconvenient truth. It is. So you have this, you know, this whole climate change debate is almost one of observation and correlation doesn't always equal causation. Sure, CO2 technically can warm, warm the atmosphere, but the sun is a much more powerful beast. If there's more sunlight uh, reaching the surface of the earth and warming the surface, Mm. And that's also going to be a factor. And they're saying that because the atmosphere is so clean now, um, there's more solar heat getting through to the oceans, and that's where the marine heat's coming from. Mm. Is this a record hot summer or not? 